Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we're doing a deck profile or deck preview or whatever you want to call it of Oracle Think Tank for Standard. The list we will be going over is the one that topped in BCF Osaka, which was a standard regional that finished just now. But first, check out this beautiful new Imperial Daughter playmat. I'm super hyped to finally show this one off. I'm personally getting it for myself as well. And since I'm starting standard with Oracle Think Tank as my first deck, you can also get this one with my signature printed on it if that's something you're into. Some of you really like that on my Tavas mat so I figured I'd include it as an option here as well. Getting into the video for grade threes we're starting off with four CEO Amaterasu. Generally you want this to be your first ride that's when you get the most value out of her. Obviously this card is never bad in the game plusing and deck stacking is always fun but when you compare her to Imperial Daughter you generally get more value off Imperial once you get into the later mid game. In standard you rewrite so often anyway so the most ideal situation is to start with CEO, get that max value when Imperial isn't fully live yet and then start riding Imperial for max plusing until well, we'll talk about that later. As I just mentioned, next up is Imperial Daughter, also ran at 4. Now, some lists have been going back and forth between running 3 Imperial, 4 CEO or vice versa. But since Oracle Think Tank can dig through the deck so well and can ditch excess grade 3s easily anyway, you're actually able to run quite a bit more than other decks can. Imperial at 4 ensures that you have her ready when her extra power and crit effect go live. To round out the grade 3s at a huge number of 10, we have two victorious deer. I mentioned earlier how you play CEO and then Imperial until something. Well, that something is victorious deer. This is the finisher of the deck. The way the game plan works is basically you use CEO and Imperial to build hand to a point where it's hard to lose. You keep your opponents at relatively low damage to ensure they can't abuse counterblast. This is especially important in a matchup against Nova Grapplers, where their available counterblast is literally the difference between life and and death, your life or death. So basically, you sit on Imperial, keep grinding protect markers plus a lot and then ride into Deer when you're ready to go for the kill. Generally, Deer ends the game. Mistiming a Deer and thus not winning on set Deer turn can potentially lose you the game. For grade 2s, we start with 4 Promised Daughter. She's basically a beat stick that's hard to get rid of, not much to be said. Next up, 4 Sotorihime. Whoa, I suck. <laughs> she does what Oracle does best. Draw, discard, filter through your deck this way, check top of the deck, put it on the top or bottom, typical OTT stuff. And then she also gets a power boost. Finally for grade twos we end with 3 Silent Tom. That's right, 3. Whilst in premium, this card or Itchy should be banned ASAP, in standard it just doesn't do as much as one would hope. It's not a bad card at all, but cutting it down a little isn't too much of an issue. Paying a counter blast just for 6000 power just isn't all that interesting when Promised Daughter essentially does that for free. And restricting the use of normal units is also less special when grade zeros have such ridiculous amounts of guard. Regardless, it's solid and with the limited card pool standard has, it can still be a 3 off. Next up for grade 1, we have 4 Circle Magus, again doing what OTD does best, filtering and drawing. Speaking of filtering, we also run 4 Farfal Magus. Filtering is literally the only thing this card does. Check top, go to top or bottom, end of story. Finally, we end the grade 1 lineup with the Holy Rooster. Luckbird. Soul Blasting to draw and if you don't have the soul you can always ditch it with Protect Gifts anyway. As your starter you can choose between this cute bunny or the well-known Lozenge Magus. And for triggers there's really no other options than running 8 crit, 4 PG draw and 4 heals. And that's basically it for today. This is the Oracle Think Tank list I'll be running once the cards are released here. If you enjoyed this please subscribe to this channel for more and click the bell button to stay up to date. Don't forget to pick up your zero damage gaming playmat. If you're an OTT fan you can choose between CEO, Amateur and Imperial Daughter. Use the code REBOOT to get 10% off and I will see you soon. Ciao!